Hello guys, welcome back to Alpha Creations. And again, it's a pleasure to have you join me here once again. And in today's tutorial, we are going to create this power vector icon you see as my wallpaper here. So first, to begin, we open our Inkscape. With our Inkscape open this way, if you want to have your view just like mine, first, go to view, make sure you're working in custom, go to zoom, zoom in one to one, go back to file, document properties, make sure displaying it is in pixels, and your unit here is also in pixels. You come down here and check the borders out. And also over here, what you also do next, the background color by default is white. If it happens to be black, click on this, then tweak the colors to suit your preference. So to begin, also in the link today, I'll leave a link to download this texture in the video description. We come up here, we open our edit colors ingredients menu. And also we open our alignment and distribution menu. Last, we turn off enable snapping in today's tutorial. So to begin first, we click, hold the circle, control shift, draw a perfectly symmetrical circle like this. Let's position this somewhere here. Give it this a black color. Open our fill and stroke menu. We give this a linear gradient like this. We come here. We click on the gradient too, or you can just press G on the keyboard. With this done, I'd want to have this here to have 80% gray. With that, I hold this, I bring it all the way down here. Click on this, bring it holding control, bring it all the way up here. Also, next, we hit this, control D, duplicate it, give it a white color. We lower the selection one step below, hold control and shift, scale this up to about say the size. And also this, we give it a linear gradient, like this. With this linear gradient, first, we come up here and rotate the selection 90 degrees anti-clockwise, like this. We grab hold of the gradient tool again. We hold this, hold control, bring this all the way down to about say here. With that done, we bring the opacity of this whole thin. say somewhere here which is okay next we click on this preview circle Control d to duplicate it let's give this a black color like this hold Control and shift scale this all the way down so i'll say somewhere here with this we come here, give it a blur, I'll say 0.2, sorry, 2.0, like this. Again, we click on the previous circle, not the outer one, the white one, but we click on this one. With this selected, Control D to duplicate it. With this circle, first, we give this a color. I'll say 90% gray, like this. And give this a radial gradient. With this radial gradient, again, we come for the gradient two. We click on this, end node here. Having it selected with the blue icon, give that also 80% gray, like this. First, we hold Control and Shift, scale this all the way down to our say the size, which is okay. Again, come for the gradient two. Hold Control, grab this node here, bring it all the way up. 
say somewhere here. We click this, hold control, extend this, so I'll say here. We flip the selection horizontally, sorry, vertically, like this. With this done, again, let's kill this a little, or like this. We hit Ctrl D to duplicate this. We also flip this again vertically. Hold Ctrl and Shift. Scale this to about say here. The size is good. Again, we select the last circle, the white one. Ctrl D to duplicate it having this on top we are going to scale this down to be beneath this very circle the very small one on top holding control and shift we scale this all the way down to our say here then we lower the selection one step below like this let's scale this more down this is pretty much okay again with this done next we click on this circle hold shift click on the white here with this selected we come up here and make sure this icon is turned off the one says when scaling objects scale the stroke width by the same proportion this should be turned off with that turned off we go to our stroke style we give this a stroke of 15 width pixels. That's the unit. Hold Ctrl and Shift. We scale this all the way down. So I will say here. There's a fill in this circle. So to take that out, we click the little X icon here to take away the fill. So having just this, we come up here, path. Stroke to path. With this done. Again, we come here, pick our square and rectangular shape, create a little rectangle like this, give it the color white, hold control and hold shift, click on the X icon to take away the outline, bring the opacity all the way up. Let's resize this. Let's bring this somewhere here. Let's increase the width of this, say 20 pixels, like this, which is okay. Sorry, 20 pixels, okay. So next, what we're going to do Select this, hold shift, click on this. Again, go to our alignment and distribution menu. Align this vertically, like this. Click on the rectangular shape, Control D, duplicate it. Give it any color of your choice. We extend this, so I'll say here. Hold shift, select our circle, and align this again vertically. We select this again. Lower one step below, hold shift, click on this, again go to path, difference. Having this, we select this, hold control, bring it down to about say here, hold shift, select this, again go to path, union. With this done, the next thing we are going to do is to give this a new form. So, we're going to add a little gradient to this. So, we select the very dark circle here. This, again, open our fill and stroke menu. Give that a linear gradient under the fill tab. A linear gradient, like this. We come for the gradient too. Click on this. Give it a lighter shade of the orange, like this. 
click on the circle part, which is the lighter portion, and give it a darker color, sorry, a lighter portion of red, like this. With this done, again, We hold this, bring it all the way down here, then select this, hold control, bring it all the way up here. We select this icon here, also give that a linear gradient, we come for the gradient too. With this portion, we give it the lighter shade of the red with this a lighter shade of the orange and again we bring this all the way down here hold this hold control bring it all the way up here so with this done again I want to reduce the width of this by holding control and shift Scale this all the way in, so I'll say here. Which is okay. So we select all these. Control G. Scale this a little bit up. Hold Shift, click on this. Then we align it vertically and horizontally. So, this becomes the vector image of our power icon and once again and as always thank you so much for watching